Hello and welcome dear learners. Today we are going to study the most powerful law ever framed by government of India in prevention of children from sexual offences. On 22nd May 2012, government of India framed the law which is well known by POPSO Act that is Protection of Children from Sexual Offences Act 2012. Prior to this law, the only piece of child abuse legislation existing in country was Goa Children's Act 2003, but it was limited to its boundaries. Therefore, all the child abuse cases were prosecuted under different sections of IPC, that is Indian Penal Code. Like UNICEF, POXO Act also considers child to be someone who is below 18 years of age. But this has been debatable since few decades. The reason behind it is that the rate of juvenile delinquency is growing day by day. One of such cases is Nirbhaya's rape case in which one of the convicted was minor that is below 18 years of age. So let's discuss about the silent features of this act in detail. This law is comparably more empowering because it protects children from sexual abuse, prevents children from going through different stages of judicial process and gives paramount importance to the best interests of the children. This law encompasses all forms of sexual abuses and envisages punishment even for abetment of an attempt to commit an offence. And the punishment can go up to half of the punishment of the attempt of an offence. It is mandatory to lodge a fire for police in every child abuse case. If someone, maybe media, neighbor, friend, relative, staff or anybody has an apprehension of crime committed or to be committed has mandatory obligation to report the matter. Failing to do so may attract fine or imprisonment or both. A female police officer not below the rank of sub-inspector should be deputed to record child's statement anywhere the child feels comfortable. On discretion of officer, child's medical can be done prior to FIR. Cases registered under POXO Act should be immediately reported to CWC, that is Child Welfare Committees, within 24 hours, which decides who will remain with the child during the trial of the case. At a state level, SCPCR, that is State Commission for Protection of Child's Right, has been empowered with the responsibility of monitoring and implementation of Act to conduct inquiries and prepare annual report. The Commission can call CWC for report in any case and make a recommendation to state government. The victims will be provided compensation for loss of education, employment opportunities, disability or pregnancy as the consequence of abuse by the convicted. It is child friendly because trial has to be finished within one year by special court. Child will not be called in police station for query at night. Breaks will be given during trials. Child will not be called repeatedly to testify. Evidences and statements of child should be recorded within 30 days. Moreover, keeping vulnerability and innocence, the burden of proof is shifted from the victim to the accused. But remember, misuse of the act by lodging false complaints can attract punishment. Media will not disclose the identity of child without permission of special court. On breach of this law, media can be banned for 6 months or a year. Well, this is all about POXO Act 2012. Being a teacher and a responsible person in society, you must know the details of this act. Protect your children and keep them safe. Thank you so much for watching this video.